Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider finding the inverse Fourier transform of x of j omega which is equal to phi u j omega plus 12 divided by j omega square plus phi u j omega plus 6. I would say this is one of the easiest numericals wherein uh, I can take the inverse Fourier transform very easily because it is already there in the very much reduced form. What I have to do is I just uh, this uh, the denominator looks like a quadratic equation, a second order quadratic equation. I just have to find the roots, put them, and take the inverse Fourier transform straight away. So let's start with the solution. X of j omega is equal to so I would write the numerator as it is phi u j omega plus twelve. Now that gets uh, divided by that gets uh, divided by so i'll just write the answer uh, in the in the denominator in the factored form it is j omega plus 3 into bracket j omega plus 2 so this is there in the factored form so now what i have to do is uh, before i take the inverse fourier transform i have to reduce this to the standard form numerator i cannot have something like this so what i have to do is i have to take the partial fraction so for to get the partial fraction expansion uh, what i do is so for the simplicity uh, let me put uh, let j omega i would put this as yes so later i would replace and uh, i would get the answer i will write x of s is equal to that is phi u s plus 12 that gets divided by s plus 3 into bracket s plus 2 so now uh, i would write this as phi u s plus 12 that gets uh, divided by s plus 3 into bracket s plus 2 so this is equal to i would write a divided by s plus 3 plus let me write b that gets uh, divided by s plus 2 so now i have to take the lcm as s plus 3 into s plus 2 i'll just cross multiply a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 3 and the denominator i would compare and i would cancel them and i will be left with only the numerator terms uh, phi u s plus 12 now i need to find the values of a and b and just put them back so how do I uh, how do I find the values of a and b? So for that uh, first put s equal to minus two, so that this term would cancel and I get the answer for b. What I'm going to get now, phi u into minus two is nothing but uh, minus uh, ten plus twelve is equal to this term is zero plus uh, three minus two is one b. So I'm going to get b as two, correct? Similarly, put s is equal to minus 3. So if I do that, phi u into minus 3 is minus 15 plus 12 is equal to uh, minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus a. Second term gets cancelled. Uh, this is minus 3 equal to minus a. Therefore, a, I would get the answer as 3. So once I get the answer, I'll just put them back. Therefore, x of s I would also get back to j omega. A is minus uh, a is plus three divided by j omega plus three plus two. That gets uh, divided by j omega plus two. So now what is there in the standard? Uh, form wherein I can take the inverse Fourier transform very easily. So now let me write taking, I would write taking inverse Fourier transform, inverse Fourier transform. So now I would get x of j omega leads to x of t, 3 is a constant I will write it as it is into 1 divided by j omega plus 3 that is the standard uh, form of e to the power minus a t u of t 
Fourier transform of this is nothing but 1 divided by a plus j omega. In place of a, I have uh, 3 over there. Is that is that right? So now I will get e to the power minus 3t u of t. Correct? Plus 2 is a constant. I will just take it out. And the 1 divided by j omega plus 2. It turns out to be e to the power minus 2t u of t. So this is how I take the inverse Fourier transform and uh, uh, this is going to be the final answer. The only trickier part here is uh, solving this using partial fraction expansion and I must know the standard result of uh, this. Once I know that I can find the inverse Fourier transform very easily. Yes, I have solved this numerical step by step. I don't think there are any issues. If there are still any issues, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.